In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to use the remote connection feature with Jazz, the modular optical sensing suite from Ocean Optics. To learn more about Jazz, be sure to visit us online at oceanoptics.com. Before you start, it's important to understand the basic IP information for your network. Your IP address is an identifier of your hardware connection to the network. Networks are normally set up in two ways for the assignment of IP addresses. Static IP addresses are assigned to the devices on the network manually by the network or system administrator. Automatic assignment of IP addresses requires that the network has a DHCP server to assign addresses to each device when they connect to the network. You'll need to find out which method your network is using from the network administrator in order to properly utilize the connection to your JAS. To set your JAS unit up after you've already determined whether your network supports DHCP or manual network address assignment, simply select the X button from the front panel of the JAS unit. This launches the main JAS menu. With this configuration, we see three options, spectrometer, network, and system tools. Press the pound button and you will see two more menu options, view settings and edit settings. Press the pound button once more to access the edit settings menu. On this screen, you can select auto if your network is set up with DHCP, or you can select manual to manually enter the IP address. If you select the auto option, you are now ready to go and can return to the network menu screen. If you've selected manual, you will need to enter the information provided by your network administrator for the IP address, net mask, and gateway. When you've entered this information, select Apply Changes. If you're unsure of the information contained in these fields, you can find it on any network connected device such as your desktop computer. Most of this information can be found by opening the Network Settings Control Panel. You'll see a screen quite like this one. Highlight Internet Protocol or TCP IP and select Properties. The screen will show you how your network is configured and provide you with the information that you'll need to enter into the NetMask and Gateway fields in the network options of your JAS. You'll notice on this screen that the option to obtain an IP address automatically is selected. This indicates that the network your computer is attached to uses a DHCP server and not a manual address assignment. You only need to use the manual IP address assignment on your JAS if the other option is checked. It's important to note that you cannot use the same IP address that your desktop computer is using. Only the network administrator can provide you with the IP address to use with your JADS. If you mistakenly use the IP address from your personal computer, you'll end up with network conflicts when the two devices attempt to use the same address. Once you have set up the JADS's IP address, you can then press X on the JAS unit to return to the network menu. Here you can select View Settings to view the setting from either the DHCP server that has been automatically assigned or your manually entered settings. Now let's open up Spectra Suite software. Go to the JAS Network Spectrometer item under the Spectrometer menu. Here, type in the IP address that you've assigned and click Next. You will see that you are now successfully connected to your JAS unit. From this screen, select Finish. You now have access to JAS and can begin taking your measurements based on your experiment. Using Spectra Suite software, you can connect as many JAS network spectrometers as you like. 
there's no limit to the number of jazzes you can work with. For more information about Jazz, SpectraSuite, or the full line of spectrometers available for Motion Optics, be certain to visit us online at oceanoptics.com. And be sure to tune in again for more tutorials and information right here on spectroscopytv.com. You can also contact us via email at info at oceanoptics.com. Thank <laughs> you.